Ukrainians fight Russian drones with old World War I style A-22s. Ukrainian pilots are using old 1970s propeller planes to fight Russian drones in World War I style. As Forbes writes, more and more Ukrainians are preparing to take to the skies and hunt Russian drones. It is noted that a video has gone viral on social media in which the crew of the Ukrainian intelligence service on the Aeropract A-22 sports plane destroys a drone with their assault rifle. This GUR tactic is no different from the one used in southern Ukraine, where a Yak-52 training aircraft is used to shoot down UAVs. The shooter in the back seat also attacks the drones with a rifle. The Yak-52 crew's methods are effective and perhaps most importantly inexpensive. Ukrainian forces cannot afford to fire the biggest and best air defense missiles, which can weigh hundreds of kilograms and cost millions of dollars apiece, at a 14-kilogram Orlan-10 drone that costs only $100,000. Operating a Yak-52 or A-22 costs only a few hundred dollars an hour. A few shotgun shells or rounds of ammunition cost next to nothing, the publication adds. As indicated, the armed forces of Ukraine are already using A-22s, which cost $90,000 in combat as attack drones. They are equipped for autonomous flight and filled with explosives. This allows these aircraft to fly hundreds of kilometers deep into the Russian Federation to hit military and industrial targets. The Rotax A22 engine generates 100 horsepower, while the Vedenev Yak-52 engine generates 360 horsepower. With its excellent power-to-weight ratio, the latter may be the best in tight turns with a drone. Ukraine is desperate to shoot down dozens of Russian surveillance drones that fly over Ukrainian cities and bases every day with near impunity. Over the course of three spectacular days last week, Russian drones flew over Ukrainian airfields, identifying targets for Iskander ballistic missiles. During these raids, the Ukrainians lost at least three precious fighter jets, all because they failed to shoot down the drones before the drones detected the planes on the ground, Forbes explains. While air-to-air -air combat aircraft may not to be the best choice for airfield security, they can free up heavier ground-based air defense to move into vulnerable air bases. Earlier, it was reported that in Odessa, the Orlan-10 was destroyed from a training Yak-52. Subsequently, Defense Express reported that the Ukrainian propeller-driven Yak-52 shot down eight Russian Orlan-10 and Russian-made Zala UAVs. Forbes explained that Ukrainians in Yak-52s shoot down enemy drones using a shotgun against enemy UAVs. Ukraine launched large-scale drone attacks across Russia's Belgorod, Rostov, Volgograd and Voronezh targeting Russia's energy infrastructure on the night leading to Tuesday. An oil depot and substations in Russia are on fire and four people have been killed as a result of the attacks. According to the head of the border Belgorod region, Vyacheslav Gladkov, as a result of the shelling of several villages in the region, four people were killed and 20 others were injured. Some 160 apartments, 60 houses and 140 cars were damaged. There are interruptions in the power lines. The Energomash plant was also attacked in Belgorod. The Russian Defense Ministry claimed downing 38 drones overnight in the south and central parts of the country. A substation in Frolovo and an oil depot in Kalashandan are on fire in the Volgograd region. Local telegram channels have published footage of the fire. Several dozen drones were launched on the Rostov region. According to the head of the region, Vasily Golyabev, Two transformers caught fire in the Rodionov-Nesvitaysky district. The fire has been extinguished. Local residents reported hearing about 10 explosions during the night. Previously, drones hit a local oil depot and bakery, causing strong fire at the oil depot. Fire also broke out at a substation in the Rostov region, but it has already been extinguished. There have been no reports yet about the outcome of the drone attack on Voronezh region. In the Volgograd region, drones attacked an electrical substation and an oil depot, causing fire at the facilities. The regional governor said that two UAVs were shot down and that the fire was caused by falling debris. In Volgograd and Astrakhan, due to a drone attack, airports were closed for landing and departure. 
The drone struck a substation in the Rodionovo-Nesvitaysky district of the Rostov region, causing fire. Ukraine has not yet commented on these attacks yet.